So we're back over at Jack's house and he's reset the moon board with just random holds. actual rock. Shit. Where'd you get the rock? I got it from Noah Kaufman. Yeah. I think that one's, I think that one's from uh, the red. Really? Yeah. It doesn't look like it. I guess they do have the iron bands in there. Alright, well now we know it goes. We can't change the skull. So what Jack did is he tried to look at the app and put his own random jugs where the moonboard jugs are and put crimps where the crimps are and things like that just to make it kind of close so that way we can use the app and maybe have routes that are somewhat in the same grade. So this is video editor Josh interjecting in here and I do realize that this video is going to get close to 30 minutes long and so I just want to give you a heads up on what to expect. So this is a session with me and my buddies Jack and Connor and we're literally just sessioning together on a kind of a unique way of doing the moon board. The unique thing about this session is that you'll see that we're comparing this setup with these random holds to the moon board 2017 setup and trying to see how they compare and I think it's kind of a fun little discussion. I do want to give you a heads up that if you stick around to the end of the video, or even if you jump ahead to the end of the video, there is a section where Jack and I talk about how you can use a Raspberry Pi uh, little device and some LED string lights that you get from some other company and actually have it be very cost effective for having a LED board. And you can use that with the actual Moonboard holds and the Moonboard app to replace the more expensive LED set that comes from England. Or you can do something like we did here where you can have your own wall and just use the app to light up the lights. So that's at the end of the video. I'd love it if you'd stick around and check that portion out. But for now, we're going to jump back into just three guys sessioning, having a good time climbing. Board climbing has got to be like the worst thing you can do for shock loading your bicep. <laughs> Oh, as long as I don't like pull too hard yeah. or jump. Yeah, just do like static. Yeah. In the doing this. Did you stuff, just say as long as I don't jump on a moonboard? Yeah. <laughs> I, I can. And all this stuff is good for my shoulder, actually. Do you have that much weight on it, though? Yeah, yeah, it stretches it. That's what you say. What yeah. did your doctor say? <laughs> uh, I told him up. I climbed outside and tried to keep my elbow straight. And yeah, and it was five six. <laughs> No, it's 5'9". Oh, you did 5'9". And 5'10", oh. did you? Oh, he did a 10'8", he went top of That hurt a little bit, though. There you go. Come on. Nice. There you go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that, that's multifaceted. It's got the top hold, and then it's got the hold on the bottom. Yeah. That rock one. There you go. There you go. Stand. Yep. Nice. Maybe I should put a jug with that black one in so I can make it smooth. <laughs> you should place every hole in jugs. I guess you could. It's your wall, yeah, right? It's your wall. You can whatever you want. Oh, that one is a jug on the. Which one? On the moon board. It's like a better hold than uh, the actual moon board hold. Is a better one than what we have on there. But we do have a moonboard hole on there, just not the moonboard hole. And it's angled. I've never seen one of these jokes that do that. Old man, old man, you'd be all day with you. Yeah. Right. That actually was hard. Yeah. I got to there. Okay. Pretty good. I didn't, I didn't hurt myself. It felt good. What are you yeah. like? 
be like two weeks post surgery? No, 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 like nine weeks. Has it been nine weeks already? Yeah. It, they don't know you've had surgery yet. Oh yeah. There's five. Wait, one, two, three, four. There's five. You get too detailed. I thought there's it was there's five holes in me. <laughs> so Jack had sho shoulder surgery, like literally right after we filmed the tour of his video. If you haven't seen that yet, it's up here. Yeah, it might appear here or here. So click one of those directions. Yeah. It's gonna be here somewhere, guys. You have to. You have to talk about the doobly do. I don't know what it doobly do. <laughs> Okay, hit it. There you go. You're on it now. Yep. The rock one. Nice. We'll have to rename it though. We probably can't call it the moon board. We'll have to call it the Set your first 6A plus. We'll have to call it the jack board. Yeah. Or the zig the zig board. Alright, pick us a good one. I guess it'd be like 11. The 11 that happens to line up with jugs under your wall. <laughs> oh, like it, you don't need to do anything to pick a gear though, yeah. Yeah, we're going by the number of repeats. Uh oh. Of all the Moonboard benchmarks. Moonboard benchmarks with repeats. Yeah. I don't know that benchmarks make a difference now. Alright, so we're going to do FedA 2 7A. Plus. I'll put the climb on the screen to see how it compares. <laughs> Oh, look at that starting hole. <laughs> you, should, you should go to a gym and, and try these actual problems and put them side by side. Look at these starting holes. You only get one. But you get a jug. Just jump to the jug. It, that, that one's probably a little worse than the actual moon board. That, the actual moon board, you can under oh, This one here is the yellow. Uh, yeah, the, the big yellow. yellow. Do you have a hole like that? Uh, the big yellow. Josh has one and another one's outside. Well, not necessarily that. Alright, let's see if we can start here. Some Play-Doh stuff. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, that one has a top in the bottom. Oh, rocking the video. Yeah. Let's go. There you go. Yes. Oh, you better than that one. Well, the first move is literally just one a one-handed crimp. So, <laughs> so you kind of like this. Yeah. And then like the kickback. Yeah. Like a, a part of the for sure. My eight-year-old told me that he went into the future where he had graduated third grade. And I said, well, cool, you've been to the future. How many subscribers does my YouTube channel have? He's like, 15. I have like 80-something right now. <laughs> and I was like, well, I went backwards. Why did I go backwards? He's like, I know why you went backwards. Because you only have videos of building. You don't have any videos of climbing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was like, well, that's good because I have plans for climbing videos. <laughs> so now I won't go down to 15. <laughs> I can't do the, the trip in my head anyway. Oh, yeah. I always have to use my version of There you go. Okay. The jump move is doable, but then the next move is. Yeah. You know, the second hold is harder now than the actual yellow hold. This was a yellow hold? Yeah. You say these are all yellow holes. 
These are toy toys. You ready for the the hardest moon board benchmark? What grade is it? 8A plus. Is that B13? That's not hard, it's supposed to be 12. Yeah. How about 8A? Okay. Oh, you're missing a hole. You gotta add one. That actually looks like a pretty good problem. You get a what? One hole start at the top here. Start. This is a yellow, these are all yellow ones. Yellow. Need some relief there. I got find the yeah. right direction too. Yeah. Well, that, that one's a yellow finish hole too. That one's really hard. Yeah. yeah. It's it's hard. The second last hole is terrible. But you can just one? skip it. Yeah. Okay, sure. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Now yeah, you can get two hands on this. Yeah. That's the only good. Thing. <laughs> oh! <laughs> no way. And <laughs> then you cut feet. Well, you can put a joint there and it would still be hard. Yeah. yeah. It's the movement that's hard. Yeah. So that that's kind of my that was kind of my premise. Finding out if it's the moves that if it's the distance and the movement that makes it harder, if it's the holds that make it harder. It's definitely both, I think. Oh, for sure. Like if we shopped around for like a, a crimp line B eleven and replace it with jugs, we could get it. <laughs> First rule of climbing is don't get injured climbing. Can you edit out my feet? Yeah, I'll spice it. You got the wrong hold. Is that on? Is the sidewall on? <laughs> There you go. Oh, that one's better than I thought it would be. Yeah. There's a little chip home catcher. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that's gonna be a card. You can't really keep your feet up. Yeah. Well, my feet are on the low ones, so I guess maybe if I moved up to these ones, maybe. Yeah. But it's still like this. Double Gaston.
basically go for on purpose foot cut. <laughs> yeah, that seems like the only way I feel good. Oh my. Any pump? Maybe you should have gone here. Yeah, absolutely. There you go. Yes, come on. Yes. <laughs> That's the easiest one yet, I think. <laughs> it'll, be, it'll say V4, and then the people in the comments will say sandbag. <laughs> or uh, soft. No, yeah, they say yeah. soft. I'm like, okay, how much softer can we get? Send train, come on, Jack. <laughs> Don't go too crazy on that jump to the jack, though. <laughs> yeah, it's really short. It's just a right move. Jumping. I'll see if I can go move. here first instead of here. My right arm doesn't want to go like this. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, very cross, cross back. Thank you. 
So now we've had a chance to climb on it for a while and we realize that things are still hard. So it's actually a pretty cool experiment and I'm actually planning on doing something similar to this. I'm going to use the 2016 hold set but I'm going to use the other year's apps and try those climbs too so keep an eye out for that video. For now Jack's going to kind of share a little bit about how he patched together the Raspberry Pi. I gave Josh my uh, indoor moon board LEDs. It has a special moon board box and that thing costs like $800 or something. Wanted to try out doing this and these LEDs were like 30 bucks or something. And then uh, I played with Raspberry Pis before. And so it's actually running on this thing back here. And the LEDs are pretty much the same as the regular moon board LEDs, but you're really paying for the moon board software when you use the moon board 
this is basically just a, a computer. They call it a SBC, so a single board computer. So it's actually connected to my Wi-Fi, and uh, I use this open source software project on GitHub. Uh, Josh will probably put a, a link in the doobly-doo thing. I think that's what they call the description, the doobly-doo. The doobly-doo, sure. <laughs> if you just search Moonboard GitHub, you'll find this uh, software, and it uses this, uh, I think it's like NeoPixel, or there's this universal driver for these, uh, they call them like pixel LEDs, and it runs on uh, five watts. Okay, so I will put Jack's Instagram handle in the description. In the link for the GitHub. And I'll put the link that he's going to give me. And, I mean, it just might be something that you could use for anything. Like, you could, in this example, you don't have to buy the moon holds. So there's no real association with Moonboard other than you could use the app to light up the lights where you could save your own problems in just don't make them public on the Moonboard app. And then you have your own private LED system for your spray wall or something like that. So it just gives you another option. This whole thing could cost less than a hundred bucks just for the pie and the LEDs. Yeah. So you save money, you get a cool feature of having your own LED wall. And again, it could be with Moonboard holds, but it could be with any holds that you have. Don't forget to click the chains on the sub subscribe button. See you guys in the next video. <laughs>